Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In this series of videos, we're going to be performing fluid changes in the various undercar gearboxes. This includes the manual transmission, the rear differential, the front differential on four-wheel drive models, the four-wheel drive transfer case, the transaxle assembly used on the front-wheel drive minis, and we'll do an undercar oil change for both vehicles with and without dipsticks. Now we'll be using these various tools and fluids throughout this series and we'll get more detail on that shortly. In this video we're going to show you a common undercar oil change. Check out our other videos where we use the vacuum oil removal tool on a model that has a dipstick tube for the engine oil. We're going to show you how to drain the oil on models that do not have dipstick tubes in this video, then we'll do a refill, which is common to all, and we'll also show you in this video how to set the oil level on models that don't have dipstick tubes. We'll be using our Liquimali Long Life Oil, either a BMW filter, a Mala filter, or a MAN. In this application, the BMW filter actually is a MAN filter. So we'll just use a MAN filter here. MAN and MALA are very high quality German filters. We have our oil filter housing removal tools. This is just an example of the many different ones for the different models. Our ultimate funnel. We're going to be replacing the oil drain plug with a magnetic drain plug. With that, we're going to get to this job and everything you see here, remember, you can see in our online store at BavAuto. Com. Here you can see the oil drain plug access door in the undercar splash panel. Here's the drain plug on the engine oil pan. We'll use a socket, extension, and ratchet to loosen the plug. Position the drain pan under the drain plug before removing the plug. Don't forget to remove the plugs from the drain pan catch basin. Remove the drain plug. We'll now remove and replace the oil filter. All six cylinder models from the early 90s on have the filter mounted in a canister in this general area. Use the oil filter cap removal tool that is applicable to the model being serviced. This tool has a 17 millimeter hex head. Use a 17 millimeter socket and ratchet or a box end wrench to loosen the cap. We'll place a section of pig mat oil absorbing pads next to the housing to catch the oil that will drip when the filter is removed. Loosen and fully unscrew the cap. Pull the cap and filter from the housing. Remove the filter from the cap. Note that some filters may stay in the housing when the cap is removed. In this case, simply pull the filter out. Remove the old O-ring from the cap. A small screwdriver or pick works well to dislodge the O-ring. Locate the new O-ring and install it into the groove on the cap. Install the new filter onto the cap or into the housing as applicable. Install the filter and cap into the housing. Apply a slight downward pressure while twisting the cap clockwise to start the threads. Screw down the cap and snug it tight. Refer to the Bentley repair manuals for the proper torque. This N52 engine specs at 18 foot-pounds. Remove the tools and prepare to fill with fresh oil. Once the oil has fully drained, reinstall the drain plug. We highly recommend replacing the stock drain plug with the Dimple Neodymium Stainless Steel Magnetic Plug. 
These super duty magnetic plugs will capture and hold the minute metallic wear particles so they don't circulate through the engine. Tighten the plug. Be mindful of the applied torque. If you are inexperienced, be sure to refer to the Bentley repair manual for the specific torque value. This N52 engine specs at 18 foot-pounds. Close and fasten the access door. We'll be refilling with the Liquimali Long Life 5W30 oil. Using the ultimate funnel makes filling and refilling very easy. Open the cap and install the ultimate funnel into the oil fill opening, just like the oil cap. Pour the fresh oil directly into the funnel. We can pour the oil and fill the funnel without the worry of a spill due to the funnel moving. Add the next single liter of oil. We'll now add one half of the last single liter bottle. The markings on the bottle make it easy to add just half of the bottle. Okay, that's good. We can now remove the funnel and install the cap. For engines with dipsticks, start the engine and run it for a minute to distribute the oil into the oil filter housing. Shut the engine off, wait a few minutes, and check the oil level. Adjust the fill as needed. For engines without oil level dipsticks, continue watching. In order to check and verify our oil fill on models without an engine oil dipstick, we need to use the electronic sensor in the engine oil pan and the instrument cluster display. Before reading the proper fill, we need to warm the oil and circulate it through the engine. This can be done by driving the vehicle for a few miles or by running the engine at a high idle for a few minutes. Park the vehicle on a level surface and leave the engine running. We'll use the turn signal stalk to check the oil. Move the signal button up and down to scroll through the displays. When oil appears, press the button on the end of the stalk, the BC button, and the level will be displayed. Once the level is displayed and verified, simply push the BC button again to return the cluster display to normal. That's all there is to it, very easy. All of the parts and tools you've seen in this video are available in our online store at bavauto.com or you can call our advisors at 800-535-2002. Be sure to watch all of the videos in this undercar fluid change DIY series. You can view them on our YouTube channel. Please, if you like what you've seen, hit your like button and send us some comments as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Now with that, we thank you for watching, and we're off to create another video.